Hello. I am a worker. I am a producer. I create things. I make things on a daily basis. I am in direct process of production. I make the economy move. It is due to my work and my effort that profit from production occurs. Yet, I am the last one to benefit economically, financially, and uh, socially from the profit of the production which I produce. This is, in my mind, a contradiction of the actual material conditions. Daily, I sport this suit and this tie, which I bought cheaply at a discount suit shop in my local neighborhood. I know the people that work there. The good people. They always smile at me. The one woman, she wants to get married, but she can't because she doesn't make enough money to do so. But she's still nice to me. And she still always tries to get me the best deal when I need to buy suits or a tie or even a blazer. So I see this uh, daily, this um, contradiction of actual material conditions. Not only when I go shopping, but when I go to my own workplace, when, when I go into an office or a branch, I see this. You must pardon me at the moment because I'm... Um, speaking in my uh, native dialect of English. So it may sound a bit strange to you, considering that I am an American. It may sound a bit foreign to you if you are an American citizen. But I am from Appalachia in West Virginia. So we have a certain history now what's my point here that I'm talking about? And what I'm talking about here is um, the worker and not only dialectical materialism but actual material conditions and how those relate to your social situation and your social connection to all those involved in the production which you and I engage in daily. You see, we find ourselves in a situation in which we are doing all the work, but uh, we are not getting the benefit from this production, from our labor, from our blood, sweat, and tears, 
from our daily pain, from our struggle, we get only a marginalized fraction of that benefit. And that is a contradiction of the actual dialectical material condition we find ourselves in. But yet we have been conditioned to accept it. We have been conditioned to think that this is the way it should be. We've been conditioned to feel that we should only receive a wage based on a value of our labor which is connected to a capitalist market, a market in which a very small percentage of people actually get the full benefit of our labor. This is not okay. It's not right. And I find it surprising that we all accept it. And we all think it's the way things should be. Think about the idea of all of us without rulers, without managers, without people telling us what to do and how things should be, operating our means of production and deciding how much we should be paid for our hard work collectively as a group of workers in any given situation. Think about such idea. Think about taking over the factory, taking over the office, taking over the school, taking over everything which you are in direct involvement in the production and you together are deciding what happens. You together are deciding how much profit you get. You together are deciding how things are. Think about that. Because I, like you, am a worker. Nothing special about me. Nothing particularly extraordinary about me other than the fact that I produce directly. I make product directly. And I have to settle for a fraction of the profit from that production that I do and you do and we all do. Just something to think about.